Good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. Today I spent afternoon with a good friend in the Central Academy of Fine Art Art Museum and I've seen one of the most amazing art exhibitions and I really would like to share this with you. Keep watching and I'll show you amazing artworks. As soon as I entered, I was so impressed by this beautiful four storage art museum. It's such contemporary slick design. The people were greeting me immediately charging me flawlessly with all digital swiping I was able to pay for the entry totally digitally and the whole viewing experience is very very smooth and nicely guided and nicely designed I was given this piece of paper and I was asking what is it for because obviously it's not really a ticket it doesn't have number or like you know code or some kind of chips or why would I need it for like and they told me that it's just for souvenir. So I was like, okay. My favorite exhibition is Mute Encounters from Bruno Wopos. At first, I didn't even pay attention because I just thought I wouldn't like wood sculptures. I mean, it was such a traditional art form. I would love to see VR, AI, at least video art, some art of today, blending with modern technologies. But wood is something we got like already for thousands of years. I wasn't very convinced, but as soon as I entered, I looked at those little creatures by Bruno. I changed my mind and now I'm a big fan of Bruno Warpos. I didn't know him before and from the curatorial statement, I learned that he was born in 1959 in a valley in Italy and in his town, it was traditional to make wood sculptures of Jesus and saints for the worship of uh, Roman Catholics. So I I'm not religious, so I, I don't really know, but this is the idea I learned. And uh, in Europe, it's yes, it's a thing. And a lot of the arts are related with the church and the religious culture. So he had this traditional touch from his town, from his culture, and perhaps from different generations in his family. I'm not very sure, but he definitely has mastered this craft, but he blended with something unexpected and exceptional. For example, there are some ones are made of cardboard and cardboard with acrylic paints and the Assam are like exactly like cardboard but it's made of bronze. And it's such an interesting touch. I had never seen a bronze sculpture looking like this. Usually when you talk about bronze sculpture in China, it's public art. And you see some semi-nude figures in the streets, uh, in the park and you see these kids or adolescents would touch the private parts of the sculptures and those parts would become glossy and for me it's such an embarrassing experience to see this whole thing going on in front of me. I was like, we are so not ready for bronze art in public. This has totally changed my perception of what is bronze sculpture. There are some other mixed media sculptures are also very, very beautiful. For example, this one, I think it's Gary Tu, that is made of wood inside and Chinese painting paper outside. And Chinese paper is one of the four inventions of ancient times. And we preserve the tradition of using this type of paper. And I don't want to be offensive, but if you don't know what is this paper, it's like a napkin paper, but better. So he used this paper to put on top of wood and to create such a beautiful skin texture. And you could almost see the skin tone using the, the color combination and texture combination between wood and Chinese paper. It is such a beautiful artwork and it's, it's such unexpected as well because I was seeing bronze and then I was seeing cardboard and it was like, wood, what more? Come on, what more you can make? And guess what? Boom, there is this. Gary number two. And I really like to call this sculpture by name because I feel like I have a connection. I feel like they are really living creatures. And I was even talking to Gary. I was like, what are you made of? And I would, you know, I would even expect Gary to talk back to me like Siri but better than Siri. It's such a lovely experience and I spend most of my time staring at those creatures of Bruno. I also enjoyed plenty of other exhibitions at the same time taking place in this building. For example, Mark Kuhn under the skin and also some Chinese uh, painters like Zhou Jirong and Ye Nan, Lin Gang. 
and there are a lot of artworks are uh, very unexpected, very high level and yes, I'm very impressed by the quality of their curation and the quality of the presentation. Although once I was wondering why would they put the artwork in the middle of the joint of two glass panels. I was like trying to get through the, the crack of the glass and trying to see what is behind. I guess, I assume, I hope that is a way to present this very interesting realistic abstract artwork that reflect the foggy, smoggy days in Beijing. I don't know, perhaps I'll ask the artists when I get a chance. After that, I also went around the Kafa buildings and the campus and trying to see the life of students and visited some prepa, like pre-exam academies around as well as some art supply stores just to check out the costs of production for the artists. I'm very happy with my encounters today. I had fun and tomorrow is new day. I'm going to check out different things. Stay tuned if you want to get to know more about art in China, artists in China, sell your art in China, and what not and why not in China. Click subscribe and every day you will see a new video from me. See you next time.